The showdown is not meant to cause offense or harm. The viewer acknowledges any reliance on the accuracy or completeness of said content should be done at their own discretion. The host apologizes in advance for any affront as a result of personal attacks. All right, showdown time. Hannah Kaiser is back with us. You like the showdown. Look at this, you're like directly confronting <laughs> everything. <laughs> no, I just noticed. You, you broke this? Don't break the stuff here. All right. All right. Here's always, should the Angels trade Shohei Otani? Okay, I, I'm going to reveal myself to be like a total sentimental sap here. There's so much focus on the results, the outcome, and not the journey. But here's the thing. I was watching the Mets game last night, and of course they weren't talking about the Mets. They were talking about Shohei Otani, like everybody else is. <laughs> right, and the right. Mets' incredibly esteemed broadcast crew made the point this could be the greatest season of all time. Now he's chasing 60 home runs. Yeah. And he's rivaling what Aaron Judge did last year, plus pitching. The greatest season of all time. Why would you, as the Angels, deprive your fan of that? Is, isn't that worth something? Yeah. Then, then rebuilding, even? and I want to get a, an Genuine. infielder from Class truly, A. Truly, yeah. truly, well, in the sense point. that, like, yeah. there's a World Series winner every year. There's only one ever greatest season and he plays of for us. all time. He yeah. plays for us. Yeah. There is actual yeah. genuine value in the number of regular season games. Like, Angels fans, the Angels front office, ownership, all that, they've players, they've deprived their fans of postseason baseball, but they can give them this Excellent unique baseball opportunity. For six months in the summer. Excellent baseball. Right. Like, truly, go yeah. to the ballpark baseball. They yeah. shouldn't trade him from the perspective of, like, weighing a future World Series against two months of, even if it's a World Series, against right. two months of right. Shohei Otani. Right. I don't know. I might take the two months of watching Shohei Otani for uh, baseball. I, I'm, not, I'm not, not arguing it's you at all. I think you're absolutely right. And it's also, uh, we lose track of, right, how do you as a fan spend your summer? It's like when they say, like even last year with the Mets, the way they kind of, you know, tailed off and got knocked off at the end. Like, oh, what a lousy year. It was not a lousy yeah. year. You had five and a half months of excellence. That wasn't a good way to be a fan. I agree with you. You're right. All right. How about pitch timer? The Players Association would like a little more time yes. on the pitch clock. Are you in favor? Well, they'd like a little bit more time on the pitch clock all the time, but they think their best bet is probably to ask for it in the postseason, mm -hmm. which makes some sense. I understand the argument that, oh, God, the moment is so big, the noise is so much, you know, you're taking in so much, you need mm -hmm. a little bit of extra time. Uh, I don't think they should do this, and I don't think they're going to. I don't think the league is going to capitulate. And people asked Rob Manfred about this. Why do you think the pitch clock should be the same in the regular season and the postseason, but you're willing to change that sort of extra innings runner on second rule? And I thought, actually, credit to Rob, he had a really smart response. He said the runner on second and extra innings rule is inherently deciding the outcome of the game. The outcome of the game is going to involve that guy on second base mm -hmm. scoring. Right. The pitch clock is not supposed to decide the outcome of the game. At its best, it goes largely unnoticed. And so mm -hmm. I think if it is if it's supposed to govern the sort of the fabric, the rhythm, all of that of the game, then you shouldn't have to change the rules. It's not changing the rules. It's like just play at the same pace you've been playing. Right. For all six along. months. Right. But you know what's funny? Because when it first was proposed, I thought, all right, what's another five seconds if that makes them happy? And no, you're right, though. Right. I think Joel Sherman has written about this too. Take the hard line. Like, no, this is what we've agreed to. This is the way we play. Don't let it creep out. Don't don't let it creep away from you. Because postseason games are already so much longer. Yes. And to an yeah. extent that it yeah. makes it difficult to appreciate the better baseball in October because it feels a lot less exciting. Right. And, I, and, I, and I even thought, oh, it's only, look, it's 25 minutes that they've chopped off. Here's the average postseason time, the 3.34, like three and a half hours. You don't need its that longest, much time. That 2021 time, 3.37, is almost an hour. It's 59 minutes longer than the regular season games yeah, right now. And a lot and of we, that is commercials yeah. and stuff that you can't get rid of, but the pitch clock you can keep. And here's the other thing. Whenever the league talks about this, Rob Manfred or whoever, they always say, like, well, of course, we wouldn't want a... A post game to end game. on a, and, a and here's what I say. No, that's completely fine. That those are the, the rules are the rules. There are all sorts of ways that guys can strike out. Right. <laughs> you can foul tip it into the catcher's mitt. Yeah. What a bummer yeah. of a way for the game to end. I was at a world a postseason series that ended on a on a, a check swing call that people didn't agree with. Well, yeah. that's that's the rules. Right. Game right. baseball is so interesting in all of the different little like right. moments that can have this outsized impact. Inter if it ends, we had interference calls.
call to yes. end that World Series game. This exactly. Year, if it ends on a pitch clock violation, well, yeah. that's the rule. I think you're right again. I don't know what you take on this. Okay. Mariners players are upset. The, Ma <laughs> the Mariners team store evidently had Blue Jays jerseys for sale. I thought that was all right. Uh, they did. The players themselves, though, uh, Paul, see what the hell is this? This is good. Uh, by the way, a bunch of players came out. Look, shaking my heads, J.P. Crawford. Come on. The club has since apologized, saying that they had oh, some yeah. things left over from the All-Star game. I didn't know that wasn't. I like that the players hate their opponents yes. because usually now everyone's boys. Everybody's good. Hey, what's going on? I like that there is some disdain, but I didn't. I thought that was okay. I didn't see that explanation, by the way, by the team. And you know what? I think I was there. I didn't see any Blue Jays merch at All Star. I think that's a fake. You think they just put in Blue Jays stuff now because there's some Blue Jays fans coming down from Canada? Yes, because they're so close to Canada, but I'm just saying, I didn't see it. It was Blue Jays. Four hours ago, five minutes, it's gone. It's gone. Great. First of all, the reason that they shop up Blue Jays merch in the Seattle Mariners team stores is that the Seattle Mariners has such great merch. You should get Yeah, but shouldn't you, I mean, should, shouldn't you want to promote the league? Like, I'm thinking of, like, I always want, you know, I was in New, in New York, but I wanted to be able to appreciate the big stars who came into town. In New Can't York? You? Yeah. Oh, in New York, that would get you shot. <laughs> we were wearing somebody else's merch no, but at the ballpark? You, no, but you're not at the ballpark. No, you, could, you should be able to get, like, uh, I don't know, you, you can't have an Orioles jersey, like, no. on sale that you can get and you can wear at home. I'm not saying go out into the bleachers and wear okay. Orioles. The Mariners are five and a half games behind the Blue Jays right now in the wild card standings. This is a genuinely meaningful series. If we are going to buy into the conceit that they, that, like, chasing down the Blue Jays, it yeah. means yeah. something. Yeah, it's competition. It should mean something. Yeah, all right. You're right again. Look, you're three for three. Wow. That's right. Yeah. I should it's do a, this more often. That's a good job. Yeah, I'll just listen and just let you go. 